Hi, I'm Keenan from People's Voice Media, and this is our video lesson for Responsible Storytelling. Responsible Storytelling is a training exercise that we use when training all of our young community reporters. It's a discussion-based exercise that looks at ethical reporting, staying safe when you're out and about, acceptable content, and gaining permission and consent. The activity can take about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the size of your group. To start this activity, split the group into four smaller groups. Give each group one of the four discussion points about responsible storytelling, and give them approximately 10 minutes to discuss each point and make notes. When they've finished, each group will move on to the next discussion point. Continue until each group has discussed all four discussion points. The four discussion points are, if you were being interviewed for your story, how would you expect to be treated? When using music and image in a film, what permissions and consent do we need and how do we capture this? What kind of content is acceptable for the Community Reporters website? How can we stay safe as community reporters when we're out in the community? Each group is given a range of discussion prompts and flashcards to assist with the questions. After each small group has discussed each point, ask them to collate their thoughts and feed back to the rest of the group. This activity acts as an introduction to the Community Reporters Code of Conduct. Once the group have agreed on what ethical reporting looks like, they can read through and sign their individual Code of Conduct sheets, where they agree to abide by the standards set by the Institute of Community Reporters. This exercise can feel a little bit discussion-based and boring for those groups that like practical work, but it's really important to cover the ethical reporting basics with all of your groups before they go out and start community reporting. To make it fun, we use lots of coloured paper for note-taking. We get the groups to move around between questions and we use brightly coloured pens and post-it notes. Good luck!